Welcome out to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, OG Key Talk game member, shout out to y'all. We are absolutely killing the like button. Y'all been doing great the last few videos. Make sure y'all keep it up this time. Shout out to the newcomers of Key Talk game. Make sure we all come in. Y'all hit that like button and let's get the video started. Anyway, so hey, check it out. Uh, we got like three different topics to talk about today, right? The first topic. Johnny Dang. Everybody knows Johnny Dang. I'm talking about he's been selling grills to the, all the rappers for I don't know how long. He probably is the most popular, as far as in the rap world, the most popular jeweler uh, for getting grills and stuff. I would have to say it's most definitely Johnny Dang. However, one of his top customers, he had to go off on him. And one of the top customers is none other than the Sauce Father, Sauce Walker. So I made a video the other day, of course, Sauce Walker, he went and got new grills from a new jeweler named Plug Geo, right? Now, Plug Geo and uh, Johnny Dane, they've been pretty beefed up. I don't know if people have been just paying attention because that's a jeweler world, but they've been kind of beefed up. The Plug Geo used to work for uh, for uh, a Johnny Dane, and eventually went on and got his own spot. And now, of course, he's taking a lot of his customers from him, right? Well, the latest customer that he took was none other than Sauce Father, Sauce Walker. And whenever Sauce Walker, when he got the grill from Plug Geo, he said, I'm taking out the Johnny Danes that was $100,000 and I put in a new grill that's a million dollars from Plug Geo. Now, Johnny Dang has now came out and pretty much responded to Sauce Walker doing that and pretty much saying what Birdman said. Put some respect on my name. I'll trill y'all. I ain't gonna tell you no more. Remember when Birdman said that, right? Well, let me show y'all the video of Johnny Dang pretty much saying it in his version, of course, right? Let me see if I can get it here. How long we know each other, man? Over some 20 years. I never gave you shit for free. And I never asked for free shit. You know, I'm happy you shop with me. You buy jewelry everywhere in LA with my boy Cat in New York. You're watching Key Talk good. Media. Everyone needs to make it money. It's no problem. I know you just spend money for the grill. It's all good. I'm going to take out the Johnny Danes and put in the Geos. I'm sorry. I, I'm taking out these and I'm upgrading to these. Look, we went from 100000 so as y'all can see, Johnny Dane wasn't playing no games with the sauce by the sauce walk at all to the point where he was actually extremely mad, extremely pissed off at the fact that sauce walker said it. Now, of course, he's probably in his feelings, too, because he switched from getting jewel from him to him. But also he's mad that he that sauce walker said, I'm taking out the Johnny Danes and I'm putting in the plug geos. Now, to be fair. When Sauce Walker be getting grills from uh, Johnny Dang, he called the grills anyways to Johnny Dang. So, I mean, he just saying he's taking out that grill and putting that in. But, of course, if you look at it from the perspective of Johnny Dang, then maybe you can see and understand that too. But, hey, man, listen, y'all boy been getting a whole lot of money, a whole lot of paper off of the rappers, off the black rappers anyways. So, hey, man, you should never have an issue or problem with anything that they say. I'm talking about if he goes to uh, get another million-dollar grill from, from another jeweler, hey, man, that just probably mean you're going to have to uh, get your jeweler game up and get your grill game up get whatever you got up. Up and talking about and just make something better and get somebody else to buy something more expensive or make something else for Sauce Walker that's, that's better than what he got right now. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I'm talking about that just a little news though. That ain't nothing just too big. But we are going to go to the comment section because huh, I always love to read the comments from y'all, right? And of course, this is my Instagram at Key Talk Media if y'all haven't, you know, been there, right? So let's read some of the comments, just a few of them. The first comment says, Johnny Bad English, it was so hot. Stop crying. You've been making money out of blacks for too long. Sounds like Johnny Dang pocket watching. 5 a.m. post fan. Oh, yeah, I made this post at 5 a.m. You up with the breadwinners. Uh, then somebody else said, laughing like, oh, Johnny Dang messed up about that one. He wanted that milli. And somebody else said, caption ain't no million. It is a million dollar gritty. Actually, show the paperwork to it. Let's read a couple more. Uh, the video in the background. T uh Johnny TV no, he lost a freaking customer, a frequent customer. And the next person said, Birds Birdman sounded like he was finna cry. <laughs> so i mean yeah man he, he won't play no type of games anyways now uh, on to the next topic right so a rapper uh well not let's get to that one last let's go to this one for right now so the people who actually got arrested for the unalive and the julio fulio have all 
pled not guilty, even though they on like HD camera shooting a music video pretty much because of the Tesla cars pretty much caught them arriving to the thing. They got all the text messages of them planning to do all type of wild stuff to hit stuff like that. And that's why they were actually able to catch them all. However, they've all pled not guilty. Now, depending on the lawyers they got, though, this case could go either way. Yeah, we see from the outside that they got a lot of information, a lot of uh, what looks to be like details that's good enough for them to just like open and close the case like a grand open and grand closing type of style however at the same time uh we do got to think about the fact that hey man uh with the right amount of lawyers i told y'all lawyers are literally like music um, not musicians lawyers are literally like uh magicians right they be doing all type of being able to do all type of tricks get people out of all type of trouble and just a whole lot of other stuff but they've all three now this is weird because there's three of them but what about the other guy? You know, there was like a two a set of brothers, right? What what happened to the other brother? They didn't catch one brother, but they did catch the other brother that was pretty much crying in the house, threatening to, you know, do that to himself uh, before he actually came out because he was on the phone with his girl. So these three played not guilty. But what about the other guy that was crying? Maybe he maybe he gonna work with them people to try to tell and get some uh some some, some time off. Whatever he gonna get though, you know. Talking about the fact that he was crying shows that he ain't, I ain't gonna say he ain't built like that, but shows that he was not trying to go down and he might be willing to do whatever he got to do. Like why I said what he said, tell them for whatever they need to know so that I could come home with my family and my kids. Anyways, do y'all think it was a good idea for these three uh to pretty much plead? uh not guilty right by them pleading not guilty they're gonna have they taking it to trial they ain't torn for no plea deals or none of that at all right so they're gonna go ahead and take that thing to trial as far as in the comment section some people was like uh smiling emojis cut uh no oj because I, I pretty much said uh they finna pull the oj simpson or what somebody was like uh no oj got away in a white bronco somebody else said where's the evidence also they have to prove it was them people just be so quick to fold once they hear them talking about numbers uh so i mean so people is pretty much saying like nah they gotta prove it so they doing the right thing right now you know talking about going not guilty somebody else said ain't too much to fight which means that hey now nah, they out of there uh somebody else said the driver gonna get the most after they tell <laughs> some people think they're gonna all end up folding anyways i mean they was facing life no matter what are they siblings? Anyway, so we'll just have to see how that goes. Of course, I'm sure whenever they either take their plea deals or uh, get in the, when, it, when they get sentenced, y'all will hear about it 100%. I'm actually going to have it on this channel for sure. So make sure you're subscribed so you can actually see it. And last but not least, it does look like a rapper that was actually sentenced. I think he's been gone since like, was it 2016? It sounded like 2016, 2017. I'm talking about uh, the Baton Rouge rapper that actually goes by the name of Main Music. Now, of course, y'all may know Main Music because him and uh, him and him and Young Thug kind of got into it. The reason they got into it was because Main Music, uh, you know, he, him and his guy Tech pretty much did. You know, they started some called Spider. And then, of course, Young Thug started to use the Spider term. And then people just like, oh, y'all still in that from them and, and stuff like that. Right. But this guy, Main Music, did end up getting sentenced. Uh, he ended up getting sentenced to like, how long was it? I want to say like mm, since 2016 all the way to now. And it could have been a little bit before that. We're going to read about the case, though, here in just a second. Uh, but I just want to show y'all that Main Music has been released. You know, him, Main Music and Tech, they was like a. They were like a duo, pretty much, right? Anytime you saw main music, you saw tech. Anytime you saw tech, you saw main music. Hey, listen, buddy used to be super skinny, though. You know what I'm talking about? He used to be extra skinny, uh, no type of muscle, just a long, skinny dude. You know what I'm talking about? But it does look like at this particular time now, uh, buddy done came out. You know what I'm talking about? Got his weight up. You can see him flexing right there. So he done got his weight up. He done uh, got the dreads that done grew out and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about? So with that being said, we'll definitely have to see how that goes now. We're going to have to see if his music career is still going to be able to take off. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, a lot of things done change. A lot of people is hot. A lot of people ain't hot no more. But we do know whenever you first get out of jail, uh, that is pretty much when you're at your hottest, you know, because jail for some reason makes artists just super, super, super hot. Uh, so we'll just have to see how that goes anyways. Now, if y'all do want to read some about his case a little bit, I'll definitely do that with y'all uh, just so y'all can kind of understand and know who Main Music actually was. Now, the crazy part about it is Main Music actually dissed Donald Trump and then a little time after dissing Donald Trump, uh, he pretty much uh, got arrested, right? So uh, I'm going to read a little bit with y'all. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can get myself right here to the screen. So it says, 
Uh, United States Attorney Brandon J. Freeman announced that the U.S. District Judge John W. D. Gravler sentenced Demarcus Davis, age 26, of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to 75 months in federal prison following his conviction of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Uh, the court further sentenced Davis to three years of supervised release uh, following his term of imprisonment and ordered that the firearm involved be forfeited. So he pretty much got arrested for having a firearm while he's a fella. You know, they don't play about them type of games at all. And then, of course, it was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They don't play no games in Baton Rouge, Louisiana like that. And it says, according to the admissions made as part of the guilty plea on August 18, 2018. Okay, cool. So it's 2018. He pretty much got arrested. On August 18, 2018, the Livingston Parish uh, Sheriff's Office was conducting a sobriety checkpoint on Highway 42. Davis' vehicle was swerving as it entered the screening line, almost striking a metal guardrail, and Davis was seen reaching toward the floorboard upon entering the screening line. Davis' speech was rambling, his hands were shaking, and his travel plans did not make sense. Detectives observed a pineapple fan of soda. Y'all already know it was probably inside of that pineapple fan of soda, right? Y'all know what being them sodas, you know, talking about them, 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 them purple drink sodas, you know, talking about. But anyways, let's continue reading it. So it says, after Davis provided a verbal consent to search of the vehicle, deputies noticed a plastic panel on the driver's side, lower middle console that appeared to be broken or loose. Upon removing the plastic piece, a loaded FN Model 57 5.7 millimeter handgun, you got to stay scrapped you know tell me you know people out to unalive him so he got to make sure that he's protected at all times what they say i better be i'd rather get caught by 12 to be carried by six right anyway it says prior to possession of firearm davis was convicted in east baton rouge parish march 2017 of possession of codeine in november 2014 of simple battery a uh, u.s attorney freeman stated the conviction and the sentence is the result of king law enforcement and prosecution to ensure our district is free from convicted felons who illegally possess firearms i want to thank our prosecutors so we don't have to read all that but that's just like i say man that's just what will be going down right so He's out now. That's the whole point about it all. I let y'all know why he was arrested. You know, talking about, but it's fast forward now from the 8th, 2018, all the 2024, he's finally out. And we will see how his career actually goes. It is typically hard for rappers to come back up uh, whenever they get out, or you come out like when that's two times did and just dominate. You know, talking about, we'll see how that goes. So today we talked about Johnny Dane. Pretty much mad at Sauce Walker because Sauce Walker has pretty much switched jewelers and mentioned his names and he's taking out the Johnny Dangs and putting in the plug Geos. Also, the three unalivers of Julio Fulio have all pled not guilty, which means they're taking it to trial. You know, we're gonna see who fold, who don't fold, who stay side who get the years, who don't get the years, and we still gotta see where them other two dudes at. If this trial starts before they for one catch that other guy that's on the run, I don't know how that's gonna go, right? But then also, last but not least, main music has been released. Him and Tech are back together like this, and we're going to see how that career goes. Anyways, let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about his entire deal. I'm out.